It's time, 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 time. She's spilling the tea. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. All right, Roddy Rich was arrested on gun charges. He was on his way to the governor's ball where he was supposed to perform on Saturday. That's in New York City. Mm -hmm. And so he had to cancel his performance. Now, an official Sunday confirmed that the charges were dropped against him, by the way. And so a law enforcement insider said that officers at the festival security checkpoint claims they discovered a loaded firearm in his vehicle. And so because these were all dropped, clearly it wasn't his, right? Yeah, which which makes sense. I mean, he's from L.A. He's in town to perform. It was him, his driver that he hired, and security that he hired. The security was from Brooklyn, so it hired. So if there's a gun in the car, whose gun do you think it would be? Yeah, he and two other people in the automobile were placed under arrest. They said initially he was facing four charges. Possession of a large capacity ammunition feeding device, unlawful possession thereof, as well as criminal possession of a weapon, but those charges have been dropped. Yes, I would be pissed to F off too. I'm coming to show. He probably probably making one hundred fifty, two hundred thousand dollars performing, and now I can't do my show because y'all arrest me and say it's my gun where where I hired security to make sure I'm safe in New York when New York is crazy right now, and you re- arrest me and I miss my show. Yeah, that's fair. I'll be pissed off too. Right. So, and then imagine all the fans who were looking forward to seeing Absolutely. him. Absolutely. All right. Now, Monique's sister has gone on Facebook and done a post about Monique and her name is Millicent I'm she said enough is enough my sister stop the madness it's not a good look God has shut you down before and believe me he will do it again let's start by staying on topic you are and have been displacing your anger on the wrong people why don't you start sister with you and that begins with one digging deep and praying Mm. and she's uh, she also told Monique take heed and clean your house up because it's dirty sis you're coming with the same story over and over again if nothing changes nothing changes your career has been dead in the past and now it's about to come to life and now you are killing it again and now the plug is about to be pulled on you and you are about to be canceled again this time it's flatline I just can't take no more or text messages or phone calls at one time the stage and the world was your oyster what you're doing now is offensive to this family our parents and your siblings but all of a sudden it's about you having to be right good bad or indifferent and now you are wrong as two left shoes and then she also said although you did not show up to your father's or your mother's funeral service I'm sure they forgive you because they know who their child used to be so she also ended Damn, it by messy. saying, this is all coming from a place of love. Sister, stop. Your biological sister, Millicent, love you to life and will be here for you always. That's messy. I wonder why, you know, as, as family members, you just don't pick up the phone and say, you know what, I'm going to say this to you to your face. Yeah, I don't know what type of things Maybe are Maybe they don't speak on. to each other no more. Maybe they don't have each other's numbers, but damn, this is messy. All right, now Queen Latifah recently sat down on Hot Ones and they showed a throwback photo of her and Tupac and she talked about some of her fondest moments of their friendship. Here's what she had to say about Tupac hanging out with her in a gay club. We toured together, so we went all across the country, um, San Francisco doing a, a show, my first show over $10,000, like which was a New Year's Eve show um, at this cool gay club in San Francisco. I was like, yo, I'm here. He's like, yo, I'm gonna hook up with you. So Tupac came to the club with me and I was like, yo, come on, Tupac is in the building. They went crazy in there. <laughs> I was like, they gonna tear you out your clothes, come here. He's like, man, he took his shirt off anyway. <laughs> we had so much fun. You know, but that was like my brother and he would like, he's the type of person I would like, if he loved you, if he was cool with you, he'd lay his life down for you. So I miss him and I love him. That's dope. All right, now Mike Tyson also had some good Tupac stories and he was talking about uh, basically, you know, meeting Tupac. Here's what he had to say, Mike Tyson on meeting Tupac. Tupac was one of those guys that we went to let them in in the back and some kind of way they even got on the stage, took the mic, they started rapping and I met Tupac. Six months later I'm in prison and I get a call from somebody, it's Tupac's mother and he explains, um, she know me from her son, explained I let him in a club one night and he wants to come and visit me. I said, great, okay. And then I, he came in to visit me and um, they let him in and he came to the visit room. As soon as he came up, everybody started. So they already knew who was. They already knew who was. They respected him. That's dope. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, Tupac sounded like the realest person for real. Absolutely. So, so that was on Drink Champs with Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. And by the way, there's a teaser out now for the new Hulu biographical series on Mike Tyson. Chavante Rhodes is starring as Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. So that upcoming limited series, Mike, is based on his life, and it launches on Hulu on August 25th, just to FYI.
I would, I would love to. I mean, that's one of the interviews that I would love to do. I would love to interview Mike Tyson. I, I bumped into him a couple of times, like literally, like in a club. And Not he, literally bumped. No, like like bumped into him by accident. And then I turn around like, you're like, who the hell is this bumping into me? And then you turn around, you realize it's Mike Tyson, and then you run because you just don't want that problem. Maybe, come on. It's an accident. You just say sorry. It was Mike Tyson a you long ran? time ago. Yes, I ran. You know how weird that is? You know how many times you people, bumped Mike Tyson into him and people ran? out in the club in New York City Club? This is before you sued. You just got knocked out and you you woke up in the hospital. And I didn't want to wake up in the hospital. It's a good story, though, for the radio. It is. All right, now, J. Cole has le- stepped away from the Scarborough shooting stars to fulfill touring obligations. There's no word on whether he'll return or not. Mm-hmm. But he did play four games. So, you know. There you have it. I saw a lot of people going out to the game to support J. Cole. Yeah, shout out to J. Cole. Hold on. Before you end, I got one last story. Mm-hmm. All right. Del Curry. That's Steph Curry's uh, dad. His new girlfriend. You see this still story? No. Okay, so his new girlfriend used to be married to Steph Curry's mother, Sonia Curry's new man. You get it? Yes. So his mom is dating a guy, and now... His dad is dating that guy's ex-wife. ex-wife. Is that crazy? That's weird. <laughs> All right, keep it in the family. And that is your rumor report. That is very weird. All right, the People's Choice Mix is up next. We've been teasing this all last week when Envy was not here. <laughs> Get your request in. It's the Breakfast Club. You Come know on. how it works. 